We have also presented the updates on a couple combination trials. One is uh, 10 days decidabin in combination with venetoclax. It will be updated uh, both in the poster and the oral presentation. So in the oral presentation, we focus on the subsets of AMR patients who do or do not respond well to this combination. So we found, for example, that patients who have feverish mutations or complex karyotypes, they usually do not do very well uh, with the hypomethylene agent with uh, endoclax combinations. Um, so we need uh, novel therapies for this category of patients. On the other hand, patients who have MP1 mutations, and again, these are elderly patients with historical uh, uh, survival of only about 20%. They're doing very well with estimated survival at two years, close to 70%, so that's very exciting. Also, patients who have IDH1, IDH2 mutations uh, are doing fairly well, also with extended duration of responses. So I think these uh, studies are emerging and will allow us uh, to allocate patients according to their genom genomics and cytogenetics to different types of therapies. Um, and so uh, this is one combination. The other one was combination with low-dose chemotherapy. Uh, the regimen that we use at MD Anderson is cladibine, low-dose cytarabine, uh, alternating with decidabine. Um, this was presented by Dr. Kadir in the poster, and the results are also quite exciting with very high response rates, and the study has a short follow-up, uh, but so far the durability appears to be very good. Uh, Venetoclax has liabilities of mild suppression and neutropenia with infections, so we had to tweak a lot the a dosing schedule of venetoclax, and usually in combination with chemotherapy, we have to reduce the duration to one or two weeks uh, maximal, unlike what has been used for the hypomethylene agent therapy, and that's also the knowledge that we are trying to propagate in the community. We have also presented a poster uh, of uh, antifungal agents and their interaction with venetoclax. Uh, uh, so a lot of uh, them, the ASOs inhibit the CYP34A and therefore increase the level of the drug in the blood and therefore can cause uh, toxicities as far as malsuppression. Uh, so we looked at the counter recovery with different azoles and uh, we found, for example, that posaconazole uh, tends to uh, prolong uh, the counter recovery longest and probably because it increases the levels of venetoclax to the highest level, which was reported by Avi in a small study. But now we have a larger cohort of patients so there you really need to reduce it uh, to 70 milligram probably dosing or definitely less than 100. So I think this emerging data will help the physicians to dose venetoclax properly uh, to make sure that you're getting the best therapeutic response, uh, the best patient population, and also avoiding the toxicities.